This is the giant Japanese salamander, a mod made by Divine Beast and commissioned by the Gaming Beaver. While hunting the species was made illegal, the Japanese giant salamander is still threatened due to habitat loss. Alright, hello everybody. This is the Japanese giant salamander. I had no idea this species even existed until this mod came out. And it's a good thing to... It seems really, really important to the gaming beaver. He wants to make this mod to raise awareness about their plight and how they could be eventually going extinct if not anything is done. So definitely check his information out. You can click on the mod information in the mods list in the Path of Titans game. And there's some information about what he's trying to do with the mod mod in the description so definitely let's make sure we contribute and help out there but let's go through these subspecies right quick this is the standard species it has plus five percent land speed and turn radius it looks really really good it has that iconic flat head and long body long tail short limbs it really just looks like a water gecko to me <laughs> but it's super cute our next one is flat it just seems to be a little bit wider it does three times poison damage if you have that hide on from what I'm seeing here. Next we have paddle tail, basically the default body, but much bigger, thicker, taller tail here. And it gives you plus 10% swim speed. Then we have thick, which is a 7% health. You can see how chunky the head and neck, whatever, <laughs> if you want to call that a neck is right here, but it's much vertically thicker than the default. Next, we have Spiky, which looks the coolest because it kind of looks like an iguana, but it gives you plus 10% stamina recovery and you have these spines along the back and tail. And then we have Kulasukas, which is what I thought this was initially when I saw the teaser for this creature. I thought it was Kulasukas, but it's, it's pretty cool. That is something basically pretty similar. This one has plus 5% attack damage and 20% clamp weight, so you should be able to carry things heavier than with like the default or the other subspecies of this. All right, let's go through the calls right quick. First, we have broadcast. Okay, pretty squeaky. It's not super loud at all. Two call. <laughs> I love that, it's super cute. Threaten. Yeah, it's like those um, baby birds when they're like screeching because somebody came into their nest or another you know bird of prey probably came into the nest i don't know if you guys i'm talking too much ignore me four call <laughs> that one sounds more like a threaten than anything to me but i understand it talk your little squeak shake super cute scratch very nice Yawn. I like the sound for the yawn. It's very, very iconic. <laughs> Dance. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh. I've never wanted to pet a mod more. Let's see. I moved to the beach. Maybe it'll let us get covered in mud now. Play dead. Your salamander, incoming bleed and venom. Ew, okay. There we go. <laughs> That's what we were looking for. It wouldn't let me do it. So you can only do it in certain places, but it looks like it decreases incoming bleed and venom when you have this covered in mud emote. So that's pretty cool. It's actually, it's an ability that's not, that you don't have to like equip in the menu. So you can just do the emote and you'll be fine. And then hide your tail. It's cute. The tail goes through the face a little bit, but that's fine. It's still really cute. I like the idea behind it. And play in mud. Yeah, there we go. I think that one could have a little bit more to it, maybe. You know, maybe use all four feet and have it like stomp around a little bit in the mud little splash mud effects but other than that really really good and then our invite is gonna be the same as our two call so we won't worry about that all right everybody and this is the baby model when i first saw it i was like oh my god this is definitely an axolotl <laughs> baby and you should have seen my face when i first saw it but um it's super cute and it just the fact that it's an axolotl it just gets to me um but let's go through the calls right quick first up is broadcast <laughs> There you go. Two call. Oh, very squeaky. Threaten. <laughs> it's 
just a scream. It's just a really scream. It's not even scary. Porkle? I like that it's kind of like a hippie sound. Like a yip. Not hippie, but like yip yip. Kind of. You, you get what I'm saying. Tuck. A quick yip. Uh, shake. There you go. Scratch. Yawn. <laughs> it looks just like the silent scream of the threatened call. Dance? Oh, that's cute. Play dead. Your sandal lender is wet and won't be covered in mud. Right. Your salamander is covering itself in mud. Oh, there we go. We got it right this time. That's cute. I love the skin change. All right, mystery one. Hiding with your tail and playing with mud. <laughs> it's very cute. It's just I love that it looks like an axolotl. Oh my gosh. I'm never going to get over it. But uh, let's go through some of the animations right quick. First, we have our like land walk, which it just looks kind of like a worm here. Uh, and the the camera kind of makes it so I zoom in every couple of seconds. But and then let's see, a run. <laughs> just a zoomy wiggly worm. It's so funny. Uh, do we have a jump? No, no jump. This is just our regular slow swim. From the side. From the front. The swim looks really good. It looks a lot weirder on land than the, you know, swimming, but it's still nice. And then let's see our fast swim speed. Just really a faster, slow speed swim looks basically the same. Yeah. Just a faster animation for the most part. All right, here's our sit underwater. And it looks more like I'm laying down mainly because it doesn't have like a regular butt to sit on. Uh, sleep. Just curl up. The eyes are still open though, but still, still cute. Let's get up. There you go. So you have to sit underwater. It's not going to let you sit on land. All right. And here's our adult model. We are huge. Like the difference between the baby and the adult size is massive. And here are our animations. Let's do our slow swim. You could really see how much the shoulders go into the swim animation here, along with the tail. It really is just a move your spine kind of movement thing. And there we go from the side from the front. It looks cool. I just really love the model for the most part. And then our speed swim. Just faster animation, much like the baby. From the side and the front above too, just in case you guys wanted to see that. Uh, here's going to be our precise movement in water. So just our turn in place. Well, it's not great. I feel like it would be pretty hard to fight if you just do like regular in place. Our left side swim. And our right side swim. I kind of like the animation for this. And back. The back looks funny for sure, though. All right, here is the model on land and we're going to do our land movement. So we got our land walk. <laughs> it just it looks like a worm that grew legs. Oh, my God. It just whoa. Oh, this movement is just it's too funny. It's too funny to me. All right. And then our run. Oh, woof, woof, woof. They've got weird bodies. I've never seen a salamander in real life, so I have no idea if they run like this. But it's so funny. Oops, in the water. My bad. 
There we go. All right, and here's our sit animation. Yeah, basically like laying down underwater. And let me tell you how hard it was to find an even enough surface just to get this animation working. Like, oh my God, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, sleep. Curl up, you still got the eyes open. Looking nice. Then our get up. And all the way up. And there we go. It's our disturbed burrow animation. Basically just using the front legs, kind of like digging it out. All right, and here's our eating animation. Oh, whoa, that is a bright red blood mask. Jesus. It, it still does like a weird chewing animation. I figured it would be more like a, like a swallow, like just gulping it down, but it's still good. Here's our drinking animation. He just puts his head in, takes a couple of little sips. Nothing super major, you know? All right, let's go through these skins right quick. This is our default male skin right here. It's really nice. I think it's very fitting for a default skin. Then we have deserted, swamp, exotic, cavern, cherry, blind, icy hot, bard, Kool-Aid, plushy, and firebelly. I love the skins for this. These are really, really good skins and they're definitely based off of like the real life uh, lizards that we got. So I've seen some of these skins and I think like geckos or something. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. But I've seen some of these skins on other creatures before and they're really, really translate well to this creature. Let's check out the abilities right quick. We have this extra census slot, I'm assuming. First, we have nimble increases all turn radius by 15%. Oh my God, I definitely need that. And then we have nictating membrane. See, clear underwater. Make sure to get out of water after equipping it and get back in water for it to activate. Okay. Then uh, with the classic gaming beaver colors here, we have bite, which causes medium damage. Clamp, bite and hold onto enemies for as long as your stam allows. Can move and drag them around. And then chomp, charge up the attack and inflict damage based on how long it's held. I love the thumbnails for the abilities. They look so, so good. Uh, Props to whoever did the concept art for this is really good. Senses, nocturnal, gain 15% increased damage and 5% increased movement swimming speed during the night. Hydrated blows, deal 20% more damage to wet targets. Lone salamander, 10% armor increase and increased maneuverability when not in a group. Nest protector, increases attack by 8% when grouped with an adolescent or under. Oh, that's different. That's the first I've seen of that kind that actually gives you kind of like a buff for having someone who's not as strong as you. That's also, you know, your same species on your team. Can stack up to three times for every salamander with this ability in the group. That's pretty good. Front limb, we have 90 degree left bite. Causes medium damage, only usable when standing on land or slowly diving in water. And then we have the same thing, right bite. Metabolism, fisher, able to eat fish and shellfish, slow hunger drain. Dormancy. In tough times, a salamander can get into a dormant state. This immensely reduces hunger drain and movement speed, only eats fish. Carnivore increases attack damage by 2%, able to eat meat, fish, and shellfish, average hunger drain. Interesting. Insectivore increases turn rate by 4%, only able to eat insects, average food, and water drain. Okay, so you got a lot of options when it comes to food, which is really good. Hide, we have toxic mucus. When aggravated or stressed enough, the giant salamander can secrete a toxic sticky mucus. Attackers take poison damage upon hitting the amphibian. With the mucus, your skin dries out faster on land, which helps with the wallowing ability. That's the mud uh, thing that you saw that the mud application emote that we have. That's basically the wallowing ability. Regenerating hide wound healing proceeds incredibly quickly in salamanders, increases health recovery rate by 25%. That's insane. <laughs> That's wild. A resilient hide increases bleed and venom healing by 30%. You probably don't have a lot of health when I'm thinking about it, so. Slippery hide, unable to be grappled or pounce. Very, very good. These are all really, really good abilities so far. Back limb, embankment. Slowly swim or sleep for five seconds to increase damage and bleed resistance enormously. This effect is stronger at the bottom of a riverbed, slows down movement and grants immunity to all clamps grabs. So you can't be grabbed and you also heal, bleed and reduce, you know, the amount of damage you take really. I don't know how long this lasts, but sounds like a great 
ability to have. And then rapid lunge, a long and fast lunge attack that deals high damage, works only in water. I'm pretty sure that it will allow you to like grapple as well. I mean, other than that, or maybe not, it might not. It doesn't say that. Tail, tail attack, a tail attack that deals light damage. And then paddle tail increases swim speed by 5% and grants 10% swim turn radius. Very nice. All right, we're gonna go through the abilities right quick. I decided to do it on land just so you can hear the sounds and see everything better. But first we're gonna do bite. There's a nice quick motion. We don't have any teeth, so it must be like mainly like the muscles in the mouth, kind of like how frogs and stuff do it where they just like swallow you whole because there's no chewing here. Our next one is Chomp. You can see it just charging up here, not too long. It's a nice big Chomp. I'm not sure how long the cooldown is. Let's see. Oh, okay, already back up. Very nice. Then we have Clamp. That basically allows you to grab and hold on to things, drag them around if you strong enough to carry them you know if they're not too heavy pretty short cooldown so you can definitely keep trying then we have left 90 degree bite pretty much like dana Sukis, basically and then we have right 90 degree bite i'm sure it takes stamina yeah it takes a little bit of stamina and we'll look at it from this angle left 90 degree bite there we go and then right 90 degree bite yeah pretty pretty good Next, we have Lunge. It's not super fast, but you go a long distance. And here's it again, Lunge. The mouth is wide open. <laughs> it's kind of moving a little bit to the right. I don't know if that's just the way my camera is angled. Lastly, we have Tail Slap. Pretty quick, pretty simple. One more time, Tail Slap very nice and we don't have any voice call abilities for this guy here and that's about it for our friend the, the giant japanese salamander here it's pretty cool i think definitely one of the weirder mods i've seen i've never seen a salamander in like real life so i have no idea how accurate any of the animations are but i think it's pretty cool the way it is it has pretty decent speed turning radius you can clamp which is cool i think that's going to be your main style when you play this guy definitely want to ambush and pick things up from the water or on land either way it had a little bit of a slow turn speed but you have plenty of abilities to increase that its speed in the water and land can also be increased i honestly don't see much of a downside to this the model is amazing but overall i think it's going to be a really really solid fun gameplay pick if you want like a small ambush predators type mod but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I cover a lot of videos, some for Path of Titans and some for videos you may not have heard of. But if you like this video, definitely go check those out and I will see you in the next one.